Hi, I think this is where I stopped the other day before um, PDF Annotator stopped working for me. So I thought I'd do a few more discrete joint distributions and then a continuous one since you haven't seen that and it's a little uh, it's a little bit harder to set up and to see exactly what area I'm integrating over. But um, so this is back to 8.1. This is um, problems from the notes. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I have a pen. Here is my joint density function. Um, it's defined for x equal 1 and 2, y equals 0, 1 and 2. It's discrete. I know it's discrete just because how the support is written. Nice um, exact values there, not defined over a range. Um, this is just asking the probability that the random variable x is bigger than y. And we can see in this case it's going to happen when x is 1 and y is 0 or x is 2 and y is 0 or 1. So there's just a certain number of points and I could just write out um, even instead of making up a double sum, I can just say this is going to happen when uh, p of 1, 0 plus p of, um, <coughs> sorry, uh, 2, 0 plus p of 2, 1. And this is the joint function for x and y, so I just plug in um, 1 and 0, so that would be... Um, 1 25th plus um, 2 0 is 4 25th plus um, 2 1 is 5 25th so this should come out to be 10 25th okay so that's the probability that x is bigger than y um, p of x is the marginal function of x and I find that by summing my joint distribution over my y's. So my joint distribution is this. And I'm going to sum that from y equals 0 to 2. So this is going to be... Um, let's go back in the wrong direction. This is, let's put in y equals 0, so I'm going to get 1 25th, oh, 1 25th x squared plus 1 25th, um, plug in y equals 1, so that'll be x squared plus 1 plus 1 25th. Um, x squared plus put in there 2 that's going to be 4 so it looks like I have 1 2 3 3 25th plus let's see um, 1 25th and 4 25th oops that was an x squared um, plus 25th so 5 25th and this should be valid for x's defined at 0 and 1, which actually doesn't seem right, does it? Because if I stick in 0, I get 5 25ths plus 8 25ths, which is not 1. So I have a mistake in here somewhere, right? When I plug in 0, I get this. When I plug in 1, I get this. And I plug in 2, I get this, 1 25th, 1 25th, 1 25th, that's 3 25th x squared. Hmm. So where's my mistake? Oops, I see it. This is for x is equal to 1 and 2. So if I stick in 1, I get 8 25th. If I stick in 2, I get 12, 17, 17, and H25. So yeah, this is a valid probability density function, or mass function, since it's discrete. Um, POI, same thing. I'm just going to sum that expression over my x's, and x's go from 0, oops, wrong again, 1 to 2. 
Um, that's 1 25th x squared plus y squared. So can somehow I just do this? Uh, I think I still have to write it out. Let me put in 1. So 1 25th 1 plus y squared plus 1 25th. Um, put in there 2, so we'll get 4 plus y squared. So this should be, um, let me see, y squared, right? so this should be 2 25ths y squared plus 5 25ths, for y equal to 0, 1, and 2. Okay, if I stick in there 0, we get 5 25ths, and this is going to give me 7 25ths, so 5 plus 7, stick in there 2, 4, 9, so is this right? Let me sit, stick in there 2, that's 4 is 8, so 8 and 5 is 13, 13 and 12 is 25, okay, yeah, so this is a valid. Um, mass function and then from here once I have p of y and I have p of x I could find the expected value of x I could find expected value of x plus y um, any function in terms of x, x plus y I could find now that I have x and y so um, sorry I'm writing this right on the page and I look so squished up there so let's just do one more discrete here and then I think I'll go to um, I don't know what this is asking uh, and then we'll go to continuous. So these stole four animals um, from seven sheep, eight goats, five burrows. I didn't know what a burrow was, so here's a nice picture of a burrow. Um, determine the joint probability mass function for number of shepherds. Number of shepherds. Oh, sheep. Shepherds aren't stolen, sorry. Uh, sheep and goats stolen. So I'm going to let uh, x be number of sheep stolen and y be number of goats. And let's get the joint. So p of x, y. This is just a huge hypergeometric. So there are 20 animals total, right? So 20 choose. Um, four animals are stolen, so 20 choose four. And now up here, I'm going to have three categories. Um, seven sheep, eight goats, five burrows, um, X is sheep, Y is goats. And if I'm stealing four total, um, it should be four minus X minus Y left under there. Um, support, um, be a little bit careful x can go from 0 up to 4, y can go from 0 up to 4, but their sum must be less than or equal to 4, right? Because if I steal two of these, then I only have two left here, so I have to be very careful how to state this. Um, instead of, I mean, to find the marginal now, if you wanted to find p of x, you can sum this joint density function over your y's, but I think it's easier um, just to say um, this is just a hypergeometric then in terms of x if you want to find the uh, marginal for x. Okay, so um, this is going to look like 7 choose x, 13 choose 4 minus x over 20 choose 4, and this is valid for x equals 0, 1, 2, up to 4. Um, same way for y. So instead of taking, I mean this one I can just think about logically, instead of taking this and summing over my x's or my y's to get the marginals, I can kind of see already what the marginals are. And one last thing, this is very nice, um, expected value of a function of x and y is um, just then um, we're using a law of unconscious statistician. I just put the function of x, y right here, and then I multiply by the density function of x, y. 
So um, I'll leave this one and then come back with the continuous one.